yeah, I know. You guys thought I was dead or something. Yeah, I haven't done any videos, but what can I say? I've been real busy. But today, got something real unique. Meatballs. Yeah. Get some ground hamburger. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm testing this. There is no name for this. It looks like gunpowder, doesn't it? Check that out. I don't want to dump it all over the floor because it... Uh, it will turn your fingers black. And no, it's not licorice. Anyway, a friend of mine has it and uh, wanted me to test it out for him. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm experimenting. So we're going to make meatballs out of this. What I'm really concerned with is I want to see what it does to the gravy. Mmm, that's good. So I may have like black pudding or something. So check this out. Nothing real fancy today. Just going to cook some meatballs and some rice. And some great. Now, before y'all get all excited that something was legalized in Texas, it's actually uh, a gift at my son's wedding. Mmm, it's Italian seasoning. So, we're gonna address that situation right there. Gonna add a little fajita seasoning, it's mandatory. If you wanna make good meatballs, use that or steak seasoning for sure. And I'm going to add a little bit of this. What I'm going to do is after I make these meatballs, I'm going to coat it with this right here. I don't even have a name for this yet. Like I said, I'm just testing it. Looks like charcoal. We're going to add a little bit. A little something, something there. And what I'm going to do is put it on the outside of the meatballs. We're going to mix this all in and then make meatballs. Now you can see what it did to the color of this. I could add, add more. In fact, I'm just going to add just a hair more. There's a learning curve on all the spices. It's however you like them. But this one is really in the experimental stage, so we're going to give it a shot. Now normally I'd dice up some chives and stuff and onions and put it in here, but I'm really trying to figure out the flavor profile of that bad boy right there so we're not gonna get all fancy just gonna leave it real simple sometimes the onion will overpower all the other stuff that you need to be tasting got the perfect hands I make the perfect meatball and we are going to give them a dusting on the outside y'all I'm a member of uh, some cast iron groups on Facebook and I may have some fun with this. Tell them it's seasoning in a jar. You just put it on your cast iron and it seasons it perfectly. We can see what happens. I like to troll a little bit. If you see my profile on there, yeah, I'm a little bit of a troll. <laughs> Gotta do something. Alright, let's cook some meatballs. Okay guys, these are cooked. I don't know if you can really see the color here. But man, they are dark. They sure smell good though. Check out those meatballs. I gotta leave that right there in the gravy. All right, let's do the gravy. This isn't gonna be a real thick gravy. I only use cornstarch instead of flour. I like a thin gravy most of the time, and it'll serve my purposes. Turn the heat back up, get this sucker to boil a little bit. Anyway, keep stirring it until you get the thickness you need. The gravy came out pretty good looking. It actually got pretty thick too, which surprises me. Probably could add more water to it, but we'll let it ride. That's the ticket. Got to add just enough salt to kick it up. This fajita seasoning does it every time. Just add a little at a time until you get to the point you want it at. But that gravy, mm, that's off the chain. Alright. Got rice, gravy, and the meat. 
Okay guys, first thing I'm going to do, you see the rice, gravy, the meat, <clears throat> I'm going to put gravy over these meatballs of course, but I need to find out the flavor of these dark, dark meatballs. Let's give it a shot. Oh, those are real tasty. That uh, Italian seasoning I put in there is coming through. And the black is there. The black is there. It's a real mild. It's like a, it's like a mist, almost. It's like a foggy bay. That's the only way I can. It's a real light background. But it's there. Mmm. I'm going to put the gravy on it. And do the gravy with the rice. Yeah, a lot of times you cook stuff, you season it. Your gravy's going to be affected big time by what you season your meat with. And so it's not just seasoning the meat and eating. If you're going to make gravy with it like a chicken, you can season the chicken. Chicken might taste good, but your gravy might be hell. So you can't, you can't ride with that. Fortunately, I am not having those issues. But I always check anyway. Like I said, we're testing this this blend here. Fine dining 101 right there. Wow, that's tasty. But like I said, this isn't a real strong seasoning. It looks like hell. It looks like gunpowder. Looks like somebody pulled all your you know your food through the uh, charcoal pit but it sure don't taste that way. Alright y'all, that was a success. You see how dark these are? Deal is with this stuff, you gotta get used to that color. You're thinking, oh man, that's just a bunch of pepper. It's really not. Uh, it's got kind of a sweet kick to it and some peppery kick to it, but a lot of other things. It will definitely work. Those These meatballs are off the chain. Uh, everybody knows how to make meatballs. Put in what you want. You, you know, cook meatballs. It ain't that big a deal. I'm just doing the testing. Just wanted to let you all know I'm still alive. So make sure you subscribe to the Deep Fried King channel. Just hit it right there. Hit subscribe. Then go over to the Hog Zone, my Hog Zone channel, and click that. Doing a lot of fishing lately. The hunting's way back off, but uh, I'm still alive. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I can get in a regular pattern of putting out these cheesy little cooking videos for y'all. But I do appreciate you watching. So... We'll see.